Hello everyone, my name is Joe Terran, um, and this is my assignment number three, um, talking about a lit review done about my research question. The shortened version of my research question is, does gamification increase student success during COVID-19? The full research question is, in light of what we know about how children learn and, and educational policy and practice, how shall educators best utilize technology to enhance student achievement, and does gamification increase student overall success in a high school math setting during the COVID-19 pandemic? Um, I'm a high school math teacher. We are in a we are currently in the COVID-19 pandemic, so I thought this would be uh, very applicable to what's going on right now. I chose this research question first of all because I love playing video games. I've been playing video games my whole life. Um, students love playing video games. They're becoming more and more popular. Even adults play games like Candy Crush and things like that. Um, also, I'm a high school math teacher, so I'm trying to find ways to engage my students. And a lot of the time, a lot of students have a hard time engaging in math because they hate it and because it's dry. So I'm trying, I'm always trying to find new ways to motivate and engage my students. And especially during COVID-19, where it can depend on what kind of school structure you have, whether it's in-person, hybrid, or virtual learning, uh, the engagement piece and you know the overall success piece uh, can can be quite challenging. The first article I looked at uh, this was a, a systematic review of gamification research. Essentially what this was is it was kind of a lit review on its own. The article looked at I think 208 different um, research, research studies on gamification and it's um, its uh, effectiveness. Um, after reading it, the, the main takeaway is that there is a ton of quantitative research out there on gamification, but there is a giant gap between quanti quantitative research and qualitative. And this, this study showed that there needs to be more qualitative um, research done out there. Additionally, there needs to be more empirical ever, um, empirical research done as well. Uh, this is obviously connected to my research question because it's basically a bird's eye view of all the research that's out there in the field that I'm looking at. The second article was looking at the effect of gamification on motivation and engagement. And a lot of these articles are on gamification, motivation, engagement, because that's kind of where I started my research question off. Um, but this one looked through the lens specifically of motivation engagement more than gamification. And so it gets into all the m motivational theories such as SDT. Um, and then it kind of talks about the different components of gamification and how they lend themselves to those different motivational theories. Um, obviously, I kind of am focused on you know math, uh, virtual learning, and gamification, and so this this kind of goes along with the same thing about the engagement piece because usually that's the biggest problem. Once I can get students engaged and motivated to learn, the learning happens. The third article, and I apologize for all caps, but the way it was printed and the way it was found online was all caps for the title of this, but it's Gamification and Motivation to Learn Math Using Technology. Obviously, this is direct directly uh, tied to my research question because it's pretty much almost the same thing. And what this study looked at is it looked at um, some kids, uh, sixth grade students in Jamaica because they had been noticing that math scores have been continually falling. And so there was a school district that introduced a gamification software called Edufocal, and they basically split up two groups of students. One had access to that, one did not. And then at the end, they tracked you know, um, uh, success in a lot of ways. They, tr they tracked um, engagement, motivation, um, and then overall achievement on a standardized test. Um, if this is a great, although it's quantitative, it's a really good study because it's actually using um, a gamification in the field. Um, and the results were, yeah, the gamification did bump up test scores slightly, but it did offer more engagement. It, it helped with engagement more than anything else. 
Fourth article is the effectiveness of gamification and the engagement of students. Again, more engagement here. And uh, you know, as I uh, as I move forward with the capstone paper, I'll find some other articles to kind of spread things out a little bit. But this one looked at um, at 61 elementary students in Brazil, and more specifically, it looked at two specific badging platforms. Um, class dojo and class uh, badges and essentially a badging platform is just a way to offer positive reinforcement so it's a lot like standard based learning where as a student completes a certain task they get some sort of positive reinforcement but it's also being recognized in front of their peers that was probably the most important thing is that students wanted one of the badges but they wanted to be recognized for those badges in front of their peers um, the research falls in line with the idea of positive reinforcement, which is more effective than punitive uh, reinforcement. Um, and although this is elementary still kids, I, found, I still found this relevant to my research question because it's still talking about gamification, engagement, stuff like that. Um, the last article was comparing success and engagement in gamified learning experiences via Kahoot and quizzes. Um, so this one was a little different. This looked at two specific gamification software or platforms, if you want to call them. Kahoot, I'm sure everyone has heard of, Kahoot and Quizzes. And this was used for formative assessment um, for college students who are taking a scientific research methods class. And um, after the study was done, basically they, they split the students up. These were all pre-service teachers. So these were students, these were uh, people that were going to go into education, um, and then they they uh, they they tracked um, overall uh, success, as in they they tracked how they did on their tests and stuff. But they also had a um, a focused study group at the end, so it was both qualitative and quantitative. Um, in the end, um, the Kahoot worked uh, slightly better than just not having any sort of gamification. The quizzes actually did worse, but there was a lot of, um, in the qualitative stuff, there was a lot of people mentioning that the, they had issues with the uh, technical side of quizzes, and so that kind of turned them off a little bit. But yeah, those were the five articles I, I took a look at. Um, again, a lot of engagement, motivation, math, gamification. That's kind of really where I'm focused at here. And these are my references. Uh, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time.